Today in GTA 5, the Sheriff Department is in a high-speed pursuit using a Lamborghini to pursue a prototype supercar all over Blaine County. This suspect has outrun regular patrol officers several times in the past, but will he be able to escape the police Lamborghini? Let's find out. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 episode. See ya, today we're going to be playing as a detective with the Blaine County Sheriff Department. And um, yeah, we're going to try to solve a case. We've been trying to catch this person for a very long time and they have a fast car. So, I pulled out the fastest car in our fleet guys. We have a Lamborghini and we're going to use this to go after the suspect. So, let me get some information from dispatch, see if we can locate their last known location. And um, let me know guys, do you think the suspect is going to get away? From this Lamborghini. I don't think so, but let's hop inside and take a closer look at it. I'll do a quick light show for you guys so you can see how it looks once it is all lit up. So this is a all blue setup. And this thing just looks amazing. You're probably wondering how were we able to afford this? Well, we had a pretty good drug bus last month and uh, we took the money from the drug bus and we bought a Lamborghini. We've got a person with a firearm, a suspect resisting arrest, in, uh, Rocket Sonora Desert. Alright guys, so they was last seen in the desert, possibly armed, and they have a high performance vehicles that have fled from units in the past. So, I don't think they're getting away from us today. Let's see if we can catch up to them. i actually drop my lights and siren and try to sneak up on them. I'm gonna guess they're not gonna be expecting a uh, super oh look what he got guys oh all right he's running from us so let's see what he can do you better not go off road you bet why would you go off road in your supercar I just got mine I don't want to destroy it all right dispatch we're gonna be heading north down uh, towards the U-Tool. We're actually going to be in the parking lot of the U-Tool now. And let's see which way he goes. He's going to be going northbound US Route 13. That was nice. I like that. Bro, maybe I got to tell him to read my license plate. Le read my license plate. Don't run. Don't you run. But there's two people in the car too. Alright. I gave him a chance to read my license plate and it looks like he's going to still try to run from us you're not getting away from us dude oh slammed on the brakes he's brake checking us now all right let's get some uh extra patrol units to help us out what the heck what in the world how did that happen how that was crazy all right so they sent me two ram trucks. They're going to be absolutely no help because those things are as slow as could be. So you know what? Let's get a spike strip unit to help us out. Hey, right, spikes are out. And spikes look like they worked. But he is he's still attempted to run though. Oh, there goes a tire. Oh, looks like he's stopping. And he's spinning around now. Now he's going against traffic. And he just 10 50 into somebody. Give it up, man. I think something's wrong with this car, so I'm just going to have to destroy my Lamborghini to stop him. Here we go. Oh! Uh, they're still running. How they running with no tires? Out of the car. So yeah, my LSPDFR crashed, so I had to try to quickly reload, which is why I'm not technically in a pursuit anymore, and it's not letting me pull them over. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, it's over. It's over. Out of the car, driver. Out of the car. Out of the car. Down on the ground, down on the ground, down on the ground. Dispatch, need cold three backup. Got two at gunpoint. Yo, dude, look drunk as could be. 
motherfucker. Yo, don't tell me you're about to. Hey, hey, out of the car, dude. Out of the car. Down to the ground. Alright, we got one running. Alright, we got the driver. I'm gonna see if I could get the passenger. Hey, you keep an eye on. I don't even know where you at, but keep an eye on this guy. I'm going after the passenger who's now running. I don't even see where he went. Dang it. Where is he? Are you serious? Where did he go? I know he didn't get away that fast. There's no way. Dude was just drunk, and now he's completely gone. All right, well, I'll see if uh, we can get any information on where he's at from the driver. Maybe he knows his name or whatever. But um, let's run his information. The game did crash, so it's probably going to change up his name and stuff. But we'll still... Um, do a check to see who he is. Alright, so he has an expired license, no active warrants. Again, that's because everything changed. Let's pat him down and see if he has anything illegal on him or in the vehicle. This thing got destroyed. It's a nice car, though. Illegal prescription pills, a baggie of blue crystals, and a baggie of clear crystals. So he possibly has a lot of drugs on him. Um, let's see if he's under the influence of anything. He also has a briefcase full of methamphetamine. So yeah, this guy was up to no good. Now, I think he's just selling it, which is how he affords this cart. I don't think he's actually using it, but let's do a drugalizer test on him anyway, just to confirm if he's using it or not. Okay, so yeah, he's not. And last thing, we're going to test him for... Wait, we just found a gun? Where the heck was that gun at? Okay, strange. We just found a gun in this bush. Maybe he dropped it? The original call did say he was armed and dangerous, so maybe the gun was his. Um, let's do a, uh, what is it, a test here. It looks like I'm not going to be able to do it on my car, so I'm going to have to use her vehicle. Okay, so we have some prescription pills. Let's see what that is. Okay, so the prescription pills, or the illegal pills, are coming back as ecstasy. So, so far we have them for ecstasy and methamphetamine. Now, we also have um, some crystals. So, let's see what these blue crystals and these uh, white crystals are. Okay, so he has two things of methamphetamine. And let's see what the clear one is. And cocaine. So, man, I can't even keep up with what this guy has. Um, so let's see. And you know what? He has... Let me just run this gun, too. I'm gonna forget all this stuff. So we found a firearm right next to his vehicle, which I'm gonna assume he dumped when he crashed. Oh, no, it's registered. Oh, he has a valid... Okay, never mind. He has a valid registration for that. Okay. So, um, let's pull up our police computer here. Mateo Teja Jonah, and he's getting arrested. Four couple different things here. He's gonna possess uh, arrested for the ecstasy, meth and phenamine and the crack cocaine, um, all of that, as well as resisting arrest and um, really evading arrest. He did hit multiple things and left. Um, he was driving very recklessly. Um, I, I, I'm not gonna put that on though, cause that kind of is what everything else is already. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll give him all of those charges and we'll get a unit to transport him. Okay, so we'll let the park ranger transport and I would call for a tow truck, but you know what? I think I'll come back and, you know, bring the tow truck ourselves and we'll tow it. So I'm gonna let this park ranger transport him and then we'll quickly go over the charges just to see um, if any of the charges stuck, if they got any jail time or anything like that. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. And let's pull out the tablet. Okay, so we're going to reveal the outcome. He got fined $15,000 and he received six years, six and a half years of jail time. Ouch. So three years for the ecstasy, another three years for the crack cocaine and six months for evading arrest. Everything else was pretty much just fines and probations. He also got his license suspended for 10 months. Now I wonder if that's like, does that does that apply before you like 
because the 10 months, obviously, he's in jail for six years, so the suspended license would even affect him technically by the time he get out. So I wonder if do they didn't suspend his license once he gets out. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys would like to see a part two video, I will post it tomorrow, and I'll show Ace Towing coming out to pick out this super expensive car, and maybe we'll try to fix it up and have some fun with it as well. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you smash that like button, leave some comments down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and make sure you're following us over on Facebook as well. If you guys would like to download any mods that you've seen in today's video, you can find them on my website, acepilot2k7.com, as well as tutorials and bonus exclusive videos that are only on my website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!